Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. I hope this video helps you guys decide if this kit is going to be on your shopping list for the weekend. And if you enjoy diamond painting content like this, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I share a lot of different diamond painting related videos here and would love to have you. So the kit I have to share with you guys today is called The Old Woodmill by Dominic Davison. Now you typically don't see very many landscapes on my channel, but this actually really reminds me of a mill near where I grew up called Yield Mill. And I think they sold ice cream there. So this was just giving me lots of nostalgic feels, especially as we're going into spring. And you know, that'll be fun to do something a little different with you guys this week. The size on this one, it is gonna be big like a lot of landscapes are. 105 by 70 centimeters, 41.3 uh, by 27.6 inches, and square-shaped diamonds. So um, this kit, along with the other new releases, is going to be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, April 6th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window. Now let me take you on a little tour of the box and its features and then we'll open it up. Uh, so you're going to have some blue branding here, which you'll see with their square-shaped diamond. Um, diamond painting kits. And then on the back, there's some information about how to diamond paint. You'll also find a beginner video that I've done linked in the description box below. Here are your kit contents written out for you. And the down here at the bottom of the box is a code you can scan for 10% off your purchase. Now also, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase from the website, I have a 20% off discount code you're welcome to use. It is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. That is, however, an affiliate discount code, so I may make a small commission. That always goes straight back into my channel and making more diamond painting content for you. That being said, don't feel obligated. Thank you if you use it, don't feel obligated. There are gonna be some other discount codes you're gonna see in this video. I just say don't pay full price for your Diamond Art Club order, because uh, there's, there's lots of options out there. Anyway, let's take out Ooh, this. Oh, it was a little stuck at the bottom. Okay, I think we're good here. All right, yeah, that's a that's a big one. <laughs> All right, so first let's take a look at the toolkit. Here's your toolkit contents. I find Diamond Art Club's toolkits to be pretty pretty comprehensive. Um, they have a lot of I think nice inclusions, especially for beginners. So you're going to get a pen and squishy the color on these are going to vary and you'll also get some thin plastic multi-placers if you'd like to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time we also have some pink wax it's going to come in a pink heart caddy like this there are uh, there is rather a thin plastic film on the tops of these though so please remember to peel that back before you try to load up your pen and then we do also have a tray and this is actually this is a tray stopper that you can use to help stop the diamonds from sliding out and a pair of tweezers the ends are a little bit sharp, so you want to keep that cover on. And then we have a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in these if you like, along with a roll of washi tape. The print on this is going to vary, and I have a video below that kind of explains the ways that I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. And then there's also a cover minder, and the style on this will vary as well. So there are magnets on the back, and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting. So that is your toolkit. Like I said, in my opinion, it's a pretty solid one. <laughs> I think that it includes about everything you need to do your diamond painting. You're also going to get this smaller logbook sticker. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork on it and some of the stats. Some people will use it on the side of the box to help organize their stash, or you can find something else crafty to do with it. Everything else is gonna be included in this branded plastic bag or dust cover. Let's take a look. And I do already have the sense that this is not all going to fit in frame. So I will make sure to get you uh, a picture. I'll, I'll insert a picture in just a little bit. So stay, stay tuned for that. Ooh, that landscape confetti though. <laughs> it has been a minute since I have unboxed a landscape. That is, that's fun. Oh my gosh, look at just how cozy and nostalgic this is. Oh, that's so fun. Okay. I am seriously not, I feel like I'm barely, I barely have a half of this, two thirds of this in frame. So go ahead and take a look now at the screen. I will have popped up a picture for you to see the entire canvas and all its glory. But for now, I will go ahead and I'll show you 
some of the different areas of the canvas here. The ends are wanting to kind of curl up a bit on themselves. Um, you can just kind of roll it backwards the opposite direction and that will help. But all these beautiful colors. Dominic Davison does a lot of these beautiful landscapes. And honestly, they are showstoppers when they're completed. They are, I feel like, very much display worthy. I know a lot of people do enjoy working on pieces like this specifically to display in their homes. And I think Diamond Art Club does a really incredible job with rendering these landscapes so that they look that much more beautiful on your wall. I love, oh, love that. They even, you can make out the word mill really clearly here. That is a beautiful canvas. Okay, so let me show you what all was included. We have a giant bag of diamonds. We will take a look at these more closely in just a little bit. And then we also have, let's see, okay, a pamphlet. This has some helpful info in it. There is um, a bit, a list of what's included in your kit. Here's a beginner video that Diamond Art Club has done. Here is the VIP Facebook group, which that is a handy resource once you've made your first purchase. Just make sure that your name on Facebook matches your name on your Diamond Art Club account, and that's how they can add you. If it doesn't match, I think you have to send a message to them um, to get that figured out. So anyway, some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you along with some tips and tricks and yet another discount code. <laughs> and then on the back, there's some information about the mobile app, which is a nice resource too, and you, get, you do get 20% off your first purchase through the mobile app. Also included is this larger sticker sheet. There is the name and the artist. Again, the Old Wood Mill by Dominic Davison. And which is just, it's fun because the name of the mill that I remember from, um, it's its a little town outside of Columbus, not too far from my own hometown. It was called Ye Old Mill. So I think that's, that's charming. <laughs> and then there's a spot to write your start and end date. And here is a look at that gorgeous and glorious original artwork. Look at the textures on that mill. And then... Look at it on the canvas here. It really looks like they've captured it. And I am so curious how that's gonna look when you actually have diamonds on the canvas and can see it completed. Okay, here are the stats again. And then on the right-hand side, we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. These are pre-cut for you. And if you kit up your diamonds into storage containers or baggies, the fact that these are just cut and ready to go for you is pretty convenient. I feel like it makes that process just that much more efficient. And then the color code you see in the right-hand column here, this comes from the DMC color code system for the most part. That's the DMC brand of floss. And most diamond painting companies do use this color code system. Diamond Art Club has a couple of exceptions I want to point out. First, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special type of diamond called an AB. I'll explain more about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds, but we're gonna have five AB colors in this kit. At the end of the color list, you may also see some colors that have a letter at the beginning. In this case, we have these two colors that have the letter Z. This notes a another different kind of um, special drill called fairy dust. So we're gonna have two fairy dust colors in this kit. Another thing I wanna point out, while this is not a special drill, um, as in like it doesn't have a special finish to it, Numbers in the 6,000 series are going to be unique to Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club makes all their diamonds in-house, and they have seen that there are some gaps in what the DMC color code system offers, and since they make their diamonds in-house, they can make their own colors. And so numbers in the 6,000 um, six kind of series are going to be those kinds of colors that Diamond Art Club has created to help match the original artwork more closely in diamond painting form. Now, bear with me while I navigate this kind of large canvas here to take you on a tour of some of the features of the canvas itself. So up here at the top, we have their branding, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club, and the edges of the canvas, which I'll get you over to the corner where I usually do. Um, the edges of the canvas, they are scalloped. They have some pokes. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying on these canvases. The backing is really really soft and plush and i feel like the material of the canvas itself holds diamonds pretty well there's a clear plastic cover and poured glue which is really sticky i know i put my finger <laughs> in it because it just i know <laughs> it's fine <laughs> also the this canvas along with just about all of their new releases this at this point are going to feature their newer perforated plastic cover 
The full size sections, we're kind of at the end here, so it's not a full size section, but the full size sections are gonna be somewhere around four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters. Um, these you can choose to use or you can choose not to use them, it's up to you. But if you want to use these perforated, like pre-sectioned areas, all you have to do when you wanna kind of peel apart the perforations is just give it a tug and it'll split right there. Um, so that is a nice feature that Diamond Art Club has added. We have a color list or legend up here at the top left, and you will find the same legend at the bottom right as well. On a canvas this big, I am gonna recommend that you make use of those sticker labels and put those on however you're storing your diamonds. And when you are finding a symbol on the canvas that you want to go and you know find the color for, avoid kind of the extra step of having to look at the legend It'll save you some time, especially when you're in the middle of the canvas and you don't have to go all the way to either side to check the legend. But that's just, that's my recommendation. You can take or leave that. At the bottom left of the canvas, you'll find the stats again, a thumbnail, and then a little bit of information about copyright. So this artwork, the Old Wood Mill, is licensed from Diamond Art Club by Dominic Davis, and it looks like through MGL, which is a big kind of licensing house for some artists. This means that the artist slash the licensing house have both given permission for the use of this artwork by Diamond Art Club and are being compensated for it as well. You'll find that all of Diamond Art Club's kits are licensed from the artist or are otherwise like old master's pieces and part of the public domain at this point because they're so old. And I'm all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists because art theft is unfortunately a bit common in the crafting world. Down here we have information about their socials yeah, another discount code. And then at the bottom right, there's some information about their lifetime warranty. I believe all the details are on the website, but if you are running into trouble with something on your kit or canvas, you can contact customer support and they can take you from there. Um, occasionally, you know, once in a blue moon, if I've run out of diamonds, um, I have been able to contact them and, they sent, and they've sent me replacements. Now, like most most landscapes this kit is looking extremely confetti heavy this is a really good example confetti is where you have just a lot of color changes in a small area areas like that you will probably be doing more single placing changing out the color in your tray a bit more often but especially in pieces like this where there's lots of little details some subtle color shading that is how you're gonna see that confetti really begin to pay off. Now I do think up here, maybe in the sky, I think we are gonna be looking at a little bit of color blocking. Let's see. Okay, little bits here and there up in the sky. So <laughs> you see that large section of the letter T or the large section of the white background with the black dot? Those are examples of what we'd, you know, especially in the case of a landscape like this one, call color blocking. Color blocking tends to go a bit faster. You can multi-place if you like. You'll have that color in your tray for a bit longer. And um, I like a nice mix of both of my paintings when I can get it because confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. Here's a look up close at the mill. There's actually a lot of kind of line blocking in the mill. And so I feel like you'll still be able to use a multi-placer to move through a lot of these areas. And I, I just think that is gonna help a bit. And I really am intrigued by kind of the, the textures that we're seeing. And I wonder how those are gonna look. And then the, the leaves on these trees up here, just that vibrant, vibrant red. And then, yeah. So certainly a very confetti heavy canvas, again, really what I would about expect from a landscape. But again, I just, Dominic Davison's artwork, it is so, 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 so gorgeous once it's complete and absolutely the kind of thing I feel like you can display in your home. I'm just gonna do a really quick measurement, you guys. Uh, 105 centimeters left to right, and that's what we're listed as. Apologies if you are hearing my neighbor's dog and it's sending your doggo off. <laughs> Um, he's chatty tonight. Uh, 70 centimeters top to bottom. We are true to size. Now let's together get into this big bag of diamonds. There is a sticker on the side that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these 
separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. Um, and yeah, we're gonna look at these and we'll see if I manage to get these back in the bag after we're done. Okay, here is a look again at this color spread. Lots of greens, but also there's a lot of other colors going on in here. Some browns, but then a nice number of kind of like purples and blues. So let's let's take a look through these and also see what our special drills are going to be. So the DMC code is printed on the packaging. And they also have added this line underneath to help make sure you can tell which side is right side up because there are some DMC codes that if you flip them upside down, they make another DMC code. So just, that's a little feature that I don't, I don't mind at all. These are square diamonds, which again, not shocking. I feel like again, most landscapes are going to be squares because that's gonna allow them to capture as much detail as possible. If you didn't know, square diamonds are actually slightly smaller than round diamonds are. And so in a canvas this size, um, done in round diamonds, there would actually be fewer diamonds total compared to squares. So, oh, here's our first set of special drills. There's two bags of 135, and this is an AB diamond. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights and have a really sparkly and shiny iridescent coating on the top. It really draws your eye to the areas that has been charted and highlights them as well. So this is a, a really pretty light green one. And excuse me, yes, we will definitely go through the canvas together and I'll be sure to show you where our different special drill colors will be found. And oops, sorry about that. At the end of the strand, we do have two bags of 141. This is another AB color. This one is a white AB and I adore this AB. I think it's gorgeous. And you'll see it in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits because it's, a, it's an old reliable, it's a good one. <laughs> So a lot of AB drills to start, you guys. Two big bags of those two. Let's see what else we have here. Here is our 6,000s range color. So this shade of gray must not quite exist in the standard DMC color code system. So not a special drill, but unique to Diamond Art Club. I love that pale lavender. Here is our first fairy dust color Z842. Let me zoom you in because these are very subtle, you guys. Okay, so if you take a look, these have a glitter coating brush on the top that is definitely more subtle than AB's, but has a gorgeous shimmery effect. These are actually my favorite, favorite special drill type that Diamond Art Club carries. And so we have this nice kind of light taupe light brown uh, fairy dust color, two bags of it. A little straggler in there. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Lots of greens and browns again. Pretty kind of bluish lavender. Um, I find that Diamond Art Club's square diamonds are really nice quality. Um, I find that they tend to be really consistent in size and shape with minimal trash, so that makes them easier to place. Here's our second fairy dust color. I almost said AB. <laughs> this one is kind of a, um, it's kind of a yellow green. I'd probably say it's more of a yellow. My eye is wanting to like see a slight green hue to it, but I think it's more of a yellow. Z165 fairy dust. And then here's our next AB. This is I think our third AB, 133. This is a nice bright orange AB. Love that. I wonder if that'll be maybe in the windows or the leaves. I won't, I'm not very good at guessing where special drills are going to go in, in a landscape canvas, actually. <laughs> so it'll be a fun hunt for us. Here's our fourth AB. I think we're going to have, I think we're going to have one more. Um, 119. It's a nice kind of royal purple AB. And that, again, with a little straggler. Not a big deal. And then some more purples to round us off here. Last strand, let's take a look. Aha, we do. Second to last color here is 129. That's our fifth AB color. It's a nice pale kind of buttery yellow color. 
Love it. Love it, love it. So just to recap, um, we have, now I'm doubting myself. Okay. Um, that's the purple. Okay, so we have the purple AB. We have the pale yellow AB. We have the orange AB. We have the green AB. And then we have the white AB. And then as far as fairy dust goes, we have the light taupe and the um, light yellow. So we're just going to kind of start in one of these bottom corners of the canvas and work our way around and try to find as many of these ABs as we can. So I do see the orange AB sprinkled down here it's the brightest one of the brighter colors you're seeing not quite the brightest but it's sprinkled through here there's some of that pretty purple ab in here in these plants and then that light green ab which remember the light green one was the one that we had two big bags of is sprinkled the lightest kind of the light green you're seeing in the camera on the tops of these plants is the light green ab the white you see sprinkled in this area right here is a white AB. Some of the white over here is not AB and some is, but yeah, some of it. Um, make sure I'm looking for the right colors. Okay, in these fence posts, um, the lightest color in camera is going to be the light taupe fairy dust color. Okay, moving us over here. Uh, the lightest color that you see in these bushes is that kind of light yellow fairy dust color. It's kind of the tops of those leaves. And then this bright green in this set of bushes is the light green AB. Then there's some orange ABs in these leaves. And let's see, should I go to the top or go across the bottom? We'll go across the bottom and we'll, we'll circle back around. Okay. Um, let's go down here really quick. So the white you see, kind of the caps on the water, that's white AB. There is a little bit of pale yellow AB in here, as well as some white AB and the light taupe fairy dust. And then there's some of the light green AB as well. Uh, the tops of these stones are the light taupe fairy dust color. And then, let's see. Um, in the windmill itself, so here the spokes are the light taupe fairy dust color. There are lines of the pale yellow AB as well as that pale taupe fairy dust right here too. And then over here in this, in this water here that's kind of um, crashing down, there's white ABs. And then there's both the pale yellow AB and the pale yellow green fairy dust here on the tops of these plants and up here as well. Hopping back down to this side, um, this purple bush over here has a lot of the purple AB in it. Um, this plant has a ton of the pale yellow AB and white AB in it. And then, I feel like I'm not doing too bad, given that I'm not used to <laughs> finding special drills and landscapes. They're actually sticking out decently well to my eye. Okay, there's a white AB here in the sky, actually. Here, it's it's the white you're seeing in camera is, is white AB. Um, if we hop into these trees, there are a lot of special drills going on, quite honestly. If I bring you up close, here's just an example of why it's, why it's a little tricky to explain. Uh, so the number four, is the light green AB. The number two is light yellow AB. The letter S is the uh, pale yellow green fairy dust. And the black dot on the white background is white AB. So lots of special drills in here in particular. Um, and it's, there's also a lot of special drills. Namely, this has the light green AB. And then up here we have the light green AB and some of the white AB. And then there's more of the, the pale yellow AB as well as the pale yellow green fairy dust color. Hopping up towards the top here, the white that you see in the sky here, as well as in here, as well as up there, that is all our white AB color. And then in these trees, we have a similar thing going on here as we did over here, where there's um, the pale yellow green fairy dust 
there's the light green AB and there's a little sprinkling here and there of the pale yellow AB and you know some white AB thrown in the mix to make it even more interesting too there is some of the pale taupe fairy dust kind of this is kind of in parts of the sky though it's here it's actually in here and over here that's the pale taupe fairy dust color now hopping back down into the mill a little bit um there are lines of the pale taupe fairy dust throughout so it's just going to give a little bit of shimmer to these textures this top kind of window up here most of the outline is the pale taupe fairy dust there's also a line of the white ab right here yeah each of these windows at least part of it is that taupe fairy dust color over here too this side of this window as well as this actually this whole window frame and once we get let's see i don't see any special drills in the roof but these windows as well have some of that uh, pale taupe fairy dust. And then like this line is pale taupe fairy dust as well. So it's there's not like anything really glaring in the mill, which I think is appropriate. I think the fairy dust is, is a good call there. Let's hop back up to the sky here. Um, the chimney on the mill has some of the pale taupe fairy dust and a little bit of the white AB too. These leaves have quite a lot of the orange AB in them, and then there's white AB in the sky again. There's some light green AB here, and then some light yellow AB, and the pale yellow green fairy dust in here. These trees have a ton of the light green AB, and then as we keep moving over, we're here at the top right corner. Um, there's a white AB again in the sky, and then there's some of the light green AB throughout these trees. You guys, two big bags of that light green AB. That's where we're really seeing it is just highlighting like crazy on the leaves of the trees, um, including like this tree over here. I don't know if I mentioned that. This tree trunk actually has a lot of that light taupe fairy dust as do, uh, do the branches too. So that's gonna give a little shimmer to this, this tree and its branches. And then I think, and then there's some more light green AB down here. I think that about wraps it up. I think that about wraps it up. I hope that gives you a good sense for where you're gonna find the special drills in this gorgeous painting. Um, I, I really do like what I'm seeing of the placement. And just from a, my, my first impression, my first glance, I do think that it suits this kind of artwork pretty well, like the way that it has been placed. And I think that it's just gonna make it that much more breathtaking once it's complete and just looks so, so, so nice once it's like on a wall in particular. But that is the Old Wood Mill. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Is this one that's gonna be on your shopping list? Have you worked on a kit by this artist, Dominic Davison, before? Um, I would love to hear what you think, just your first impressions of as we've gone through it together. Do you like the special drill placement or have a favorite special drill color? Um, I, I think it's really pretty, you guys. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a really gorgeous one. So just to give you a really quick recap, this is again called the Old Wood Mill by Dominic Davison. It is on the larger size at 105 by 70 centimeters. 63 colors with square diamonds. We have those two fairy dust colors, the five ABs. And this kit, along with the other new releases, are coming out tomorrow, Saturday, April 6th. Be sure to set your alarms. Um, it's 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern for the general release time. Uh, there's an early release access window for Diamond and Ruby Tier Rewards members. You'll either get an email or if you're logged into your account on the website and you go to the new arrivals tab the new releases should show up in the half an hour early which is 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern happy shopping you guys thanks so much for watching and spending some time with me today and feel free to subscribe if you're not already and want to see more diamond painting videos i'd love to have you here otherwise i'm gonna let you go have a great weekend i'll talk to you again soon bye mm -hmm.